One of the great resources available to Flash developers are animated GIFs because there's just an enormous number of them on the internet. They've got their pre-built animations. Um, you know, there's a lot of public domain resources available for those. Um, but what I'm going to do is show you how to use one as a symbol. First, we do Control Two, and that's going to bring my window into fit in our our area that we have here. I'm going to open my library, Control L, or you can do Window Library. All right, and let me move this over here so we can see it. And I'm going to do File, Import to Library, and I'm looking for I'll do Animated Butterfly don't replace existing items. Now one of the problems you'll see is that this piece brings in a lot of extra pieces. Um, they're all bitmaps. They're not huge but it does bring them in and if I was to click on one you can see that each one of these looks slightly different. Now if I was to grab my movie clip here and just drag it out I can close my window and just ignore that for now and you know I have my animated clip here and if I was to test my movie I'll see that it's an animated butterfly so if I was to say I wanted to move this around you know and insert a keyframe drag it down insert a keyframe drag it around insert a keyframe drag it back kinda of over here and then add my motion tween when I test my movie I get a butterfly that kind of flies around. Obviously that doesn't look natural, but you know what are you going to do in 20 seconds? Um, so that's kind of a basics of bringing that in. Now what's kind of neat here is if I click on one of these, I can go to say my um, tint and adjust the color. Well in this case it doesn't work well, but um, or if I don't want to adjust my color, I can adjust my alpha and have some be transparent. And again, what's cool here is I can bring other versions of this out, and it doesn't really increase your file size because they're all the same instance, or they're they're all instances of the same object. So if I want to test that, now you're going to see something a little bit where I see the flash because I only added those in one layer, and Anyway, so you can see kind of how that works. And I hope I hope that helps for you cuz I use them a lot.